Throughout the year, there are many track events that allow journalists access to multiple test cars in one day. We love these opportunities for comparison, but time in each car is generally limited to only three laps. In spite of that, we were excited to push the Fiesta ST on the track and see how the new Mark 7 GTI competes against Ford's little fireball. After recording quick interviews during our laps, we stepped behind the cameras to film others driving. And before we knew it, time was up. We drove the Fiesta ST recently, but that was on Canyon Roads. We had an opportunity to come to High Plains Raceway in Colorado and review this car on the track. The little Fiesta ST on a track. This is what I wanted. <laughs> it's funny, this is kind of where this car belongs. I mean, it did great on those canyon roads that we were driving on, but you could be happy owning this car and taking it to the track. Body roll is well controlled out here. You gotta love that turbo. Wow, at no place in this steering, just like I noted in our review, at no point is there a dead spot, which is great. And man, is it easy to pick your line. You just get the sense as you tuck the nose in that the back really, really wants to come around and help you out. It's just. It's kind of amazing how it does that in this little front wheel drive car. It was so nimble on Canyon Roads, and it is here, but you're definitely wrestling it more. And I had noted that it almost blurred the lines between rear wheel drive and front wheel drive. Well, it becomes very evident on the track where under hard braking, that rear end just starts to want to come around. I love the way that back end starts to slide. The balance is great. The heel and towing ability with this car is suited for the track. This would be such a great first time car for track use and fun use, because it's easy, it's easy. So much fun to finally have this car on track and have this dance around. Such a solid car. GTI, right after the Fiesta. Our first experience with the Mark 7 Golf, the brand new GTI is on a track. Quite an astounding difference getting right out of the Fiesta ST and into this. Boy, this has power, but it feels like it makes it in such a different way. It's it's not so frenetic, it's not so frantic. Power band actually feels a bit broader than it does in the ST. It feels like it's got a little more meat to it because of course it does have 50 foot-pounds more torque. It is quick down the straight, it is quick! I got almost 10 miles per hour faster down the back straight than I was able to in the ST. This car moves. This car is equipped with the DSG, which means you can be very fluid with your shifts. Hard on the brake, come into the corners here. The body is a little more stable under heavy braking than the ST was, 
The ST, the back, got a little wiggly, which is actually great in the corners and can be a bit disconcerting under braking. Now, this car has been driven by a few journalists already, and you can feel it getting soft. It wants to be harder. It wants to be sharper edged. It just doesn't have the feel that the Fiesta ST does in terms of just frantic, really high-performance driving. And I'm surprised to say that. Right there, the car just doesn't know if it wants to hang on or not. When you push the new GTI in a corner, it's very willing. But compared to that ST, there's more body roll and more understeer. The ST starts bringing the back around. This just starts bleeding that speed with the front tires and pushing through. But right through here, it feels like it's just getting a little soft. And the steering, the feedback is definitely not as direct as the ST. Significantly more body roll than was in the ST. But in that kind of German luxury car way, it doesn't feel bad. But after that ST, it's far less focused on just being fast. Of course, the GTI is much nicer inside. It feels a little bit larger, a little more usable. It's a little more of a grown-up car than the ST. But the downside of that is it's less of a hoon. There's that understeer. Just a little bit of it, just reminding you I'm front-wheel drive and I can't put the back out. The ST doesn't know it's front-wheel drive, and it slides that back out in response. So, for track prowess and fun value, the Fiesta ST comes out on top. It really is that good to drive. But, even in this setting, the GTI's versatility and quality was apparent. We look forward to having one for a full-length street review, because many comparisons remain.